Tupperware opportunity gives to all of us. Um, I joined Tupperware in April of 2016 at a Facebook party. It was run by Nikki Height, um, hosted by a mutual friend of ours. I had never met Nikki in real life, and I could not imagine in that moment the impact that she would have on the rest of my life. I joined for the kit, for the discount, and I continue to be surprised by Tupperware and the amazing opportunity it offers to men and women everywhere. My team has done so much for my family, I can't even begin to thank them. There are moments in life that can change you. They can rock you to the core. There are moments in life that you can let define you. There are moments in your life that you are faced with the need to make a choice. I personally feel that it is in these moments that we become who we truly are. If you can, close your eyes just for a minute. Think about all the moments that brought you here today, that brought you to the biggest party ever. <clears throat> there are moments um, that brought you here, that, that you may be faced with the need to make a choice. Which road you take depends on that choice, right? I personally feel it is in these moments that we become who we truly are. I'm sorry, I went backwards. <laughs> okay, are there moments that stand out that are so pivotal to your success? I have so many of these moments in my Tupperware journey. However, my pivotal moments will shock you. Like I said, I started this incredible journey on Facebook and rose to where I am with limited ability to have a home party. A home party is the core to our Tupperware business, as you all know, and many will say it's the only way to be successful in your business. A home party is where you build relationships, demonstrate our amazing products, and have a great time. What if you couldn't have a home party because of life circumstances? Would you just stop working and choose to walk away, or would you find a way to keep going? When I received the invitation to the party that I was invited to, that I said yes at, I said no way. I haven't seen those people since high school, and I don't want to. <laughs> but then I found out it was online, and I told my mom, and she was thrilled. Stop borrowing my Tupperware and not giving it back, she said. We need to go to this party. <laughs> so I did. I was late, I always am. Um, I checked in and I noticed that no one else was there but I wanted some items so I stuck around. Nikki posted this amazing demonstration video that showcased some really cool products. At the time I had no idea what they were. But I wanted them all. Um, so I hung out. I won all the prizes. Yay. <laughs> um, I had a blast. I was in my pajamas at home with my family. My kids were tucked in bed. And it was amazing. Then she talked about the opportunity and she showed me the kit. You all know the kit, right? Yeah. yeah. It's pretty amazing. Um, I couldn't believe that I could get all of that Tupperware for at most $99. I told my husband, I need all that stuff. Do you care if I sign up? No, honey, we do that. <laughs> Nikki didn't know, and neither did I, that at that moment we would become the best of friends, that our future in Tupperware would be so incredible together. In my grand opening party that Nikki ran for me, just like a home party while I was there to watch, I learned her method and I fell in love with the party. See, Nikki lives in Texas and I live in Las Vegas. So yeah. she couldn't do a home party for me, she could do a Facebook one. <coughs> I thought, I'll just have a party, get my kit paid off and be done. But then I watched how she did it and I fell in love. I thought I could interact with women, which all moms need, right? Um, and, and I, I love Tupperware. So my orders started coming in at my party, and quickly I had $1,600 in sales. Wow. Right? That's awesome. Um, it was also birthday month, so lots of rewards. Um, several of my friends wanted to host a party of their own, which we all know is key to, a, to our success, right? Dating parties at the party. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to give it a try. We needed to catch up on medical bills, and I figured this was the perfect way. My husband was four months post-chemo from aggressive stage three lung cancer. He was the main financial provider in our home. He lived a very nice life. <laughs> um, when he got sick, can you see the next one? I'm sorry. Okay. Are you doing fine?
fine. There you go, we got it. Okay. Um, from aggressive stage three colon cancer, and he was unable to work during for, that, for those six months. And as the main financial provider, he quickly had a lot of debt. So I decided at my grand opening party that there was no other option. I was all in. I needed to find a way to support my family and be there for my children and for my husband. I am so thankful that I am part of the Rockstars organization <coughs> under Tabitha Abrasion. The role she would play in my success with her virtual trainings and amazing party technique soon helped me rise in this business. I started attending every training rallying event that I could, grateful for all the virtual options that we offer. Again, I'm in Vegas and my team, the accolades are out of Texas. I found my happy place on this team. I was becoming part of an amazing family of incredible men and women who support one another. Nikki and I talked every day. And not just about Tupperware, she became my friend and so much more. I was having a ton of fun, I was making new friends, and I was falling in love with all things Tupperware. I started to grow a nice little client base, which is fun. <laughs> and then the moment happened. You know the kind that takes your breath away and hurts so bad you want to hide and pretend it didn't happen. My husband and I were in a six month follow up. He had to have some tests done and had to go under anesthesia. I was in the waiting room chatting with Nikki, my new best friend. <laughs> when the doctor called me back with a grim look on his face. My husband was still pretty sedated, but he looked so scared. People always say in these moments, make the choice to be positive, but it's hard. It's hard when you've been there before and you know it's coming. When I was called back that same way just a year earlier to find out that my healthy, amazing husband had this evil thing growing inside. So I knew when they call you back, it isn't good. The room was spinning, the doctor came in. I didn't hear much, but I sunk into a fog embracing my husband as he sobbed. He's not a crier. Mr. and Mrs. Pusateri, I have some bad news. I didn't hear much after that. All I knew was his cancer was back. Just six months after his chemo was finished, something so rare that it in colon cancer that it happens in less than 1% of patients. Before I joined Tupperware, I had a lot of friends. I had a lot of family that were close to me that held my hand the first time my husband was sick. But this time I had a new friend, Nikki. And she would help me get through so much over the next six months. Something I could never pay her for. She was the first person I told the news to. You know what she said? What do you need? What can I do? Just kidding. I know. I got it. Just breathe. You'll be okay. It's worse. <laughs> I find out that my husband, my kids, and I will be obviously embarking on an awful cancer coaster again. That's what my family likes to call it. that I am not alone on this journey, and none of you are either. I got your back. I got you. It's going to be okay. No matter how far apart we were, I had never met her in real life. I'd never been able to give her a real hug. She was what I needed in that moment. Not my family, not my friends. I needed me. And if it wasn't for Tupperware and that Facebook party, I wouldn't have met this incredible woman. As if my husband's cancer coming back wasn't bad enough, we quickly found out that we had to relocate for him to get the care that he deserved so that he would have a chance to survive. We had to move to Cleveland, Ohio, temporarily. I was scheduled to attend my first Jubilee three weeks later. And when I told the doctor that we had planned to go to Florida and I asked him what we should do, he said, Honey, I want you to make as many memories with your husband as you can. Mm. I thought about canceling Jubilee and just going to Disney World as we planned. 
But my husband, the man that he is, says, no, honey, you need to go meet these people. They've helped you become a better person. They've helped you find something that, that I'm proud of you for. It's yours. Tupperware is yours. And you have done this, and I want you to embrace that moment. So I came. I remember walking into the hotel not knowing a soul, <laughs> except for Nikki. They all ran up to me, gave me a hug, and welcomed me with open arms. It was as if I had known them my entire life. From Orlando, we would head straight to Cleveland for an undetermined amount of time. I was only able to pack six suitcases. I didn't know how long we would be gone, what seasons we would be in. We didn't have very much money. But I knew when I was at Jubilee, something changed inside of me. I knew that Tupperware could provide for my family in a way that nothing else could. I knew that I, would have, I wouldn't have the same ability to work my business as I would at home, or the same energy, or be able to host a party in the, the traditional sense. But that's okay, because I had choices. People always say, when someone is ill, what can I do? If you've ever been through something like this, you know that there's not much that you know that you need or want or what help to ask for. But I have learned that a distraction is very helpful. And you can't go through this alone. What I needed was tough work. I needed Mickey height. I needed my amazing team. I needed my athlete family. They kept me going. They prayed for me. They messaged me, they loved me from afar. This would be a way for me to earn income and be there for my husband. Tough work could come with me to Cleveland all the way across the country, and I didn't have to quit a job or find a new one. I had one. My husband, he's an amazing person, he supports me no matter what. Cancer, we all know, is an ugly word that I hope none of you ever have to hear. My husband is a warrior. He endured so much on this journey. My children watched their father wither away and sink into depression. They watched their hero become so weak he couldn't play with them. They were left with me. Mom, who's not that fun, <laughs> who makes all the rules. <laughs> and I don't have that very of sense of humor. <laughs> When we were in Cleveland, we still had to maintain our home in Las Vegas and our living expenses in Cleveland. And the burden was growing daily in my family. So I would party hard. One week I had eight parties in one week. The house that we were staying at in Cleveland had no internet connection, so I had to drive my kids in the car, nine o'clock at night. They were asleep in this phone. We sat in the Starbucks parking lot hot spotting off their Wi-Fi, parting my little heart out. I grew a team and kept dating parties. In October of 2016, I was in the DIQ program, working so hard I'm stepping up. Everything else in my life was falling apart. My husband had an infection and was rushed back to the hospital. The friction in the home that we were staying at was increasing, and my children missed home and our family so much. We desperately needed something positive to happen, my team pulled through. In the final hour, we were able to finish the DIQ program right when my family needed it the most. Pat Bonin. <laughs> There's this amazing thing, you know, when you step up, you get this bonus check. I had no idea how important that would be for my family. That $1,000 got me home. My husband said, you earned this. Book some train tickets, let's go home and surprise our family for Thanksgiving. So we did. We knocked on our family's door for dinner. No one knew we were coming. <laughs> my mom almost died. She's watching us over. Uh, you can see my husband. He looked sick. But he, put, he pushed through so we could go home. This is a moment I am forever grateful for. Without that bonus, I would not have gone home and I wouldn't have been rejuvenated to fight the last part of our battle. One of the biggest moments for me, of course, was learning that on this journey I'm not alone. 
and that my accolades are truly my family. There's so much more. I stayed with Tupperware because of him. I didn't give up. I could have. Some people probably thought I should have. But instead, I persevered with my team and I accomplished director when a few months earlier, before Jubilee, I had almost given up. When we arrived in Cleveland, I started to use Tupperware and not in the traditional sense, in the kitchen or for girl time. I remember lying next to my husband in a hospital saying I used Tupperware. He, of course, laughed. Yeah, you use it all the time to cook dinner and you use it. No, no, no. I use it in a different way. I use it because it's something I can control. I use it because when I get bad news, I can book a party and I know I can have fun even if it's just for 30 minutes. I use it to make me feel like I have a purpose. I use Tupperware to help me think about something else. I use Tupperware to survive. I use Tupperware to feed my family. I use Tupperware to not be depressed. And I use Tupperware to help others. I use it to feel normal. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> when we lived in Cleveland, we lived in the basement of my husband's best friend. Our kids were eight and three. We shared one room. My husband was in the hospital for 34 days with countless doctor's appointments. I never missed one. I was in the hospital with him 75% of the time. I would drive my kids all the way to Buffalo, New York to drop them off with my aunt so that I didn't miss a thing. And I would party on my phone in the hospital room, shared my catalogs with every single nurse that came in. <laughs> then we had a decision to make. When we were in Vegas for Thanksgiving, we had to leave my son, my little buddy, um, home. My husband was going to have uh, radiation treatment and he wasn't supposed to be around young children. We were all in one room, so I left my son for a month with my mom. During that time, it was probably the hardest. You know, when your family's not under one roof, you, you don't know which way to go. As I'm mom, I guess we just find a way to survive, and that's what I did. I felt like in six months, I aged six years. The stress is often harder on a caretaker but my team lifted me up every day. I always found a way to make my life work. I always made the choice to keep going. My husband was always positive during his treatments, but he turned into someone that I barely knew. The doctor said it was because of the medication. He was so depressed he wanted to get out of bed and he had awful mood swings. His physical care was hard too. He had lost the drive to get out of bed and was depressed. But I had to be the positive voice and motivation, though I was secretly scared and slowly slipping into depression myself. But I used Tupperware to pull myself out of it and dove in with a vengeance, determined to have at least one thing work in this awful mess. I found my silver lining in my husband's diagnosis. It's Tupperware. Because of the more in this business, I was able to grow an incredible team all across the United States. Though I have not met most of them, I have relationships with them all. I feel like I'm an important part of their lives. They mean so much to me. They motivate me to continue on my worst days because I watched their lives change because of this opportunity. We return home just in time for Christmas. And now I get to engage in the core of this business, the whole party. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've had a few home parties and I can't wait to continue to engage. Thank you. <laughs> and I can't wait to continue to grow that part of my business. I love vendor events. I love talking to new people. But I would not be here without the more. And so that is the heart of my business. I would not be here without Mickey's friendship, without Tabitha's amazing training and support, without Debbie encouraging me to party my way. And I would not be here without all of those accolades back there who pray for me daily, who hug and love on me even when I can't remember them all. I wanted to become a director. The 
obstacles it should have and could have maybe give up in it. The road we take can often be bumpy. It's how we navigate and grow in the choices that we make that turn our dreams into reality. Every step of my journey, Debbie has supported me. She's always been there for my family and my business. She always tells me to do what works for you, girlfriend. And I am so grateful for her support and her openness to allow me to party however I could. I love when I get to go to events in person in Houston and Austin. It's like that friendship that you know, you've had for years but goes time without seeing. The second I see my Athelie family, it's like a moment hasn't passed. Debbie is an incredible leader. She often sends these songs to motivate me when I'm having the hardest of days just because she's thinking about me. I have a Debbie playlist <laughs> for the worst days and the best days. I'm grateful for all of our virtual options and I'm grateful for my accolades. Get the discount and free. Nikki and all of the accolades are why I stay. I stay because it makes me feel normal. I stay because I feel challenged. I stay because I'm changing other people's lives. I stay because I love what I do. Most importantly, I stay because it makes me proud of myself, my team, and my business. My husband and I received incredible news just two weeks ago. No evidence of disease. Determination you have deep down inside and make it happen. I believe in the Tupperware opportunity. I believe in the core of this business. The more is what saved me. The choices are why I'm here. Having options is why I'm in this room. I am so excited to finally be able to use the core to continue to grow. And I love to have home parties. I can't wait to have more. When you all leave here today, I hope you take one thing with you from my journey. Think about the choices we have. Use them to create the moments on your journey that will work for you. There are moments in our lives when we find ourselves <coughs> at a crossroad, afraid, confused, without a roadmap. The choices we make in these moments can define the rest of our days. So choose wisely. Thank you.